Welcome to House Hunters. I'm your host, Kelsey and PJK, and let's look at some beautiful homes. That's my audition if I was on it, like an HGTV show. Hey everyone, I'm Kelsey, I'm single, so we thought it would be funny if I tried the 100 baby challenge. It's a challenge in The Sims 4 where you have one matriarch and they're supposed to have 100 children all with different partners. There's a lot of rules to this challenge. If you're interested in the rules, that link will be below. I've asked you guys to submit some homes. It is finally time. I'm very excited to see what you guys have planned for me. So let's uh, check out some new homes. It's moving day for Kelly. Okay, so first what I'm gonna do is I'm going to evict the friend's household. I'm so sorry. And then I'm gonna move them into this tiny lot. They're friends. They can all live on a tiny lot together. And this huge lot where the Von Windenberg estate is, that's where I'm gonna put the houses for now <laughs> that we're gonna check out. Let's look into the gallery and use our hashtag 100 baby S3. There it is. Oh, that's not his blue baby. There we go. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited. Oh my God, look at all these beautiful homes for Casey or for Kelly. Wow, I really can't learn how to say Kelly's name, huh? So first we got this large modern farmhouse, which honestly looks so cute. Very well done. I love, oh, it's got a little barn in the back. Very cute. Let me play a five, seven, three. We got Bohemian Beach House. This one says, I know a three story home may seem overwhelming for a 100 baby challenge, but this bright and clean beach home offers all the accommodations you'll need for an easy play experience. Ooh, love that. You guys are good sellers. You know exactly what I'm looking for in a home. With a boho Scandinavian design. Ooh, I'm intrigued. <laughs> and lots of features for a formal main floor along with a second floor for the kiddos, a ground level for matriarch, a baby, and Todd's. Yes. This is pretty beautiful and it's in our price range. This is impressive. I'm gonna download it to my library and we're gonna see if maybe a bohemian beach house is what Kelly might dream of. Quaint cottage. We did say that she might be cottage core. This is Kelly's new improved cottage core home. Nice. This is cute. I am intrigued. I love the cottage core vibes. We're gonna save it and we're gonna add it to the library. New place to woohoo. <laughs> That's too funny. This one's pretty wild looking. It's got all the hearts up here. Oh my gosh, it's got gay pride. Heck yes, we love it. This is pretty cute. That's a good one. Unique Queen Anne style house. Has all the amenities for Chelsea, or er, Casey's, uh, Kelly's growing family. I've been seen. The home is filled with various types of skill building activities for Kelly's brood and woohoo locations for when Kelly's in the mood. The rhyme scheme is thrilling. Y'all are good writers. I wanna see the inside of this. I got a Tori Kadoo, McFadoo, Treehouse Mansion. I feel like Kelly deserves something weird. This one is like a little kooky and I like that for us. This boho modern tree house is the perfect home for a fun loving eccentric mom. That's us. P.S. Don't worry, Kelsey. The pirate playset is a fountain, not a pool. <laughs> I love you all. This is so cute. I love this. This is fun. Fun, 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 fun. This one, a warehouse? Cool. No one knows how Kelly was able to flip this old warehouse into her eclectic dream home while raising her baller kids. But boy, oh boy, did she do a great job. Perfect for a party loving kleptomaniac goofball dance machine comes equipped with a teen hangout home gym skill building rooms and secret lovers entrance gnome quest 2020 this might be a front runner this one's sick it gave me what i didn't know i wanted which is a warehouse the unbreakable home first off this looks like a magic dream home cottage core on the outside and sleek and modern on the inside <laughs> Plenty of space for kids and toddlers. And I added almost entirely unbreakable slash high reliability appliances so the ghost can cause your problems. 
Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I have to save and check this one out. That one's probably one of the more expensive one, but I love that it's unbreakable. The City Kids 2.0. Kelly and the kids have moved to the big city for a new adventure and new romance. Ooh, I love this. I love this side has this like fire escape look. I definitely want to check that out. This is so creative. Okay, so hear me out. It's not a house, but since you have the cast of friends now lives among Kelly in the game, I thought why not add a classic landmark? Central Park, Gunther not included. It's a fully functional cafe. Oh my God, I love it. We're so downloading that. Thank you so much for making me a central perk for my friends cast. Hopefully we'll see some of them working there. Look at this one. Ooh, it's so cottage core. I need it. Welcome to Kelly's cottage core dream home. This house has no pool, no fireplace, and of course no grill. You'd think though, when you're selling a house, Literally no one in their right mind would be like, here's some benefits. No pool, no grill, and no fireplace. However, that's exactly how you sell it to me. Whoa, foolish wise. This one's 300,000 simoleons. This is almost too fancy for us, but it's so beautiful. We should tour it at the very least. This is huge and beautiful. Y'all are so talented coming through with the cottage core. <laughs> Look at this cottage. This one's cute too. Made for Brindleton Bay. Sweet, unassuming cottage will satisfy Kelly's desire for a bohemian lifestyle while offering plenty of room for the kiddos and space for Kelly to dance like no one's watching. We love that. Oh my God, this one's wild. Modern mischief mayhem. The color is striking. Everyone has such good taste. How, how did I get so lucky? I think I have enough. Oh my gosh, we have too many. I have downloaded too many. We will just break it down to the ones I have to see. And some of them, well, unfortunately, I won't see. So what should we see first? Should we go ham and go to like the whimsical XL cottage just because like we can? I wanna see it, I wanna see it, I wanna see it. I don't think we'll use this one only because it's probably too expensive, but I don't, I don't care. I wanna look at it anyway. Let's look at this beautiful, home oh my gosh it's stunning this is a gazebo honestly this is way too fancy for kelly kelly could never there's this like greenhouse over here with plants enter through the gated entrance and then we have like a little oh my gosh a little area with a mirror and then over here there's like a piano a formal living room but there's little chairs for the Todd and then you go upstairs and that's her bedroom that is pretty smart this is a beautiful build but this build is not for Kelly we wish it was she's not worthy of that build. next we're gonna look at the bohemian beach house by higher design this is the beach house it is so cute lots of greenery which we love very luscious Ooh, like green energy come through beekeeping we have areas to grow plants we got a little kiddo area for them to play let's go into our first floor and then we enter here and then we've got the living room which is literally stunning there's no tv in this living room but this is kind of the the chill area here's the tv room playroom and a huge bathroom right here. And then we go on this side, really big kitchen and dining. This is pretty, guys. No yellow, but I guess maybe she's moved on. Maybe she's in her like phase where she's like, I don't do yellow. Then we go downstairs and down here is where the toddler area is. Oh my gosh, all these toddler beds are so cute. Then there's a kitchen downstairs too. <gasps> there's two kitchens? I don't think I've ever seen a home with two kitchens. There are two kitchens. We're gonna go up a floor and I'm assuming this is where the kids are. <gasps> there's a study room. I'm floored by how beautiful this is. A little music room. <gasps> and then that's it. <gasps> this is a contender. This one started out the gate strong and it's beautiful. She could have a beachside home. This is gonna be hard to beat. This one's like, ooh, baby. All right, let's do the quaint cottage. This is for Maureen. This one has a cute little driveway. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at this tree house. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I gotta check out this tree house. That's so cute. They have a puppet thing. They've got like games. Oh my gosh. 
and you go into this little area of the entryway where you got to take off your shoes. Ooh, we got a wine area and this beautiful open kitchen with some yellow stools. Little wink. Ooh, it's very eclectic, which is so Kelly. It kind of looks like there's just a lot of weird items around, which is totally Kelly's vibe. So we're moving into Todd land. Oh my gosh, it's just stunning. Very cluttered, which I kind of like. So cute with activities all in here. Upstairs we have, of course, our master bedroom with the closet. We got some purple, we got a bassinet, maybe one baby at a time, you know? Then we got this really sick green teen room with a baby Yoda! Ah, baby Yoda, baby Yoda. So you can only really house four teens and kids at once. So that's, that's gonna be kind of, unfortunately, a pretty big thing for me because I normally have more than four kids or teens at a time. 10 out of 10, I love the eclectic nature of it and the cottage core vibes. Thank you so much. Oh my God, this is great. Okay, let's look at this treehouse mansion. That cracks me up. Yo, this is wild. Very eclectic. Ooh, it's got some spooky stuff in the front. I'll decorate it for Halloween. It's even got the little scarecrow. And we've got like a pirate area, which this is just a, for decor. Ooh, I love that. It looks so... So this is our entryway. There's some little place to put your shoes down. We got a really cute kitchen with a gnome. Gnome Quest 2020. And then there's like a walk across over here to like a skill building area. And then it goes up. And then there's another kid's bedroom. That's so cute. They can be private over here. And then it goes across here. And this is the, the bar and the see-through dance floor. This is such a unique and cool build. I don't know if it's exactly right for our challenge. It, it does have like plenty of room for all the kids and teens and everything, but it's so cute though. It's really cool. All right, the baby warehouse. I hope the baby warehouse is all I dream. It could be. Ooh, so the exterior, so plush and beautiful. Very green, love these giant windows. Let's check out what the backyard looks like. We've got some planter areas, a basketball area, and what's this? But there's a little mural area so they can like draw. There's a children's play area. There's a cool fire pit, outdoor fireplace. The front door's here, so you walk in here and then we have a nice little entryway. It's just got like a place to leave your jacket, stay a while, and then we have the kitchen, of course. Big open floor plan, two fridges, two fridges and stove tops. This is fancy. And we got a beautiful like big family dining table, a bar. If we go to the right here, we've got a really colorful living room, a massage chair. No! Then we've got her bedroom on the first floor right next to the Todd room, which honestly is super smart. Oh, if we go over here, we've got a little workout gym garage area. That's cool. And then we go up a floor, we have some bedrooms that are all kind of themed to colors. So this is like a purple space one. We got like a, a red elephant and shoes one. We got like a more pink and yellow room, a big old bathroom with two toilets that are enclosed so that my kids can all go to the bathroom and shower and they don't have to wait for each other. That's a game changer. Okay, and then we have this room. It's got little study areas. And then if you go over here, We've got like a big playroom for the kids. So, oh my God, there's a karaoke area. And then out here, we got a little artsy fartsy spot. And then there's another floor because there's a ladder. And then up here, we have like a yoga retreat area. Ooh, this is a nice build. Very strong build. I love the warehouse. I think this would really fit Kelly in her life very well. I don't know. Every single one I've put down, I'm like, that one's great. That one's really good. Okay, let's look at this City Kids 2.0 home. Although I originally said cottage core, I'm seeing so many city looking homes that I'm really inspired that maybe she might be a city girl in the making. Oh my gosh, wow, how interesting. So these look like three different homes, but it is all one home. So the inside, it's kind of just a false exterior because inside it does feel like all one home. Oh wait, does it go up more? It does, it goes up again and then you've got like a rooftop. This is such a creative build. This is so cool. I don't know if it's right for our challenge, but it's so creative and really cool. And I could totally see a cool let's play in this. Maybe the friends cast 
ass need to move there. Let's look at this one by Melanie Drake. I am so excited to check out your cottage core house. This one was one of the most popular ones liked by in the hashtag. So I'm excited to check it out. Okay, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Kelly is gonna have the craziest home. I can already tell that Kelly's already gonna have like a very fancy home and all the other sims before will be like, what? Did you spent all our money. <laughs> Kelly's gonna have to make some bank with her kleptomaniac skills soon. We've got a beautiful pond. And then in the backyard, we've got swing set, a little seating area. Oh my gosh, there's a tree house in the backyard. Oh. It's a room. <gasps> Only one kid gets the tree house. Oh my gosh, they'll all want the tree house room. All right, so you walk in. Very nice. Lots of browns in this set. So it's a lot more cottagey core. We've got all the mismatched chairs because, you know, our girl probably stole them all. We turn around over this way. We got the Todd room. So the Todd room's conveniently placed right up next to the kitchen, which is very nice. And then, oh, we got the matrix room right next door, which is also very convenient. The one thing is I love the vibe, but I think the brown and greens might not be as Kelly. She's, I feel like a little weirder than this place, but it's so nice. All right, well, I'm just super impressed with this build, but I don't think it's the home for us. Let's look at the modern mischief mayhem because of that pop of yellow on the outside. This is pretty cool. Okay, I love the pops of yellow. We've got some cars on a little driveway, a little lounge area, hot tub, huge basketball court. We're gonna have some really intense games right here. Already on the first floor, we have the matriarch's room, which honestly, I'm starting to feel like this is the power move. We've got this kitchen, which is stunning and huge with yellow chairs, all oh, you guys. We go up another floor where there's the office. And then you go into this back area and this is her treasure room where she keeps her treasure prized possessions that she steals. <gasps> this is great. What a fun concept. This is cute as heck. What a fun build. You did a really fantastic job. I love the creativity of this build. Good job. You know what guys? I feel like we found some really big contenders at the beginning. And so I think it's gonna come down to the 100 baby warehouse and the Bohemian beach house. I'm gonna put down the friend's home actually, the one that I was like, this will be perfect for friends. I'm gonna put down that house, City Kids 2. We'll put the friends into that lot because I think they just, they just deserve to live in that house. It's a good house. So the first one would be a home in San Mishuno. So let's place both of the homes in where the places would be. So we're gonna put 100 baby warehouse, I'm gonna go into the old salt house. I'm gonna put down the 100 baby warehouse and see like, okay, do we like the location of where this house would belong, et cetera. So this is essentially where the family would live. They'd live in the city, which is so cute. They'd be like right next to where like festivals and events are. I'm gonna look through it one more time to see if this is the home for us. It's got the bar, massage chair, that cracked me up yellow in the kind of chairs. You know, there's yellow details on these chairs. <gasps> Wait, there's a dance area and hookah lounge? I don't know if I noticed this the first time. Yeah, this one, okay, this one's really a big contender. It's a beautiful spot. I think it's a cute area. They'd be still on the water. We've done this and we're gonna put down the beach house and we're gonna decide which one, beach house, or the warehouse. Which one would you guys do, beach house or warehouse? Let me know in the comments. All right, let's look at this beach house over here. Oh, wow, it looks really good. With the two kitchens. You know, the thing is, this house is just stunning, but this house doesn't really remind me of Kelly. It's very clean and put together. This house you could show to your mom and be proud of. This almost seems like a Chelsea house, but I think the one in the city is the one for Case and Kelly. Dang it. I think it's gonna be a great new start for Kelly. She'll have plenty of things to steal from her neighbors. But the winning house of the 100 Baby Challenge is Jenny and the Betts and their 100 Baby Warehouse. They have some other skills on here. In the 100 Baby Challenge, you're not allowed to change the lot traits. So I'm gonna change the lot traits to what the lot traits are currently, just so that it always stays the same. But thank you so, so much, Jenny, for watching. I love the Gnome Quest 2020. Everything is just so cute, but you all did a fantastic job. I'm just so impressed with all of the houses that you guys have done.
Let's look around, make sure we don't leave anything in this house. Oh my gosh, that's ours. Obviously we have to take down all these baby birth certificates. So let's do that. <laughs> Just keep doing that forever. Here's the photo of Chelsea and Bay, And here's the photo of Chelsea and her favorite son. Don't get him confused, Kelsey. Aww, the OTP. Oh wait, you know what? I am missing something. Of course, something very important, the gravestones. And then you know what? Our, our first, her first gnome, she's gonna keep them. Why not? Last time Kelly's walking through her childhood home, she knows no home but this home. All right, goodbye. Let's have Kelly move. Let's have her call and move household in the big city. What will she get up to? Okay, she has 148 simoleons. So we can't move yet. But I feel like they didn't sell all the stuff in the home. Like what if we bulldoze the whole home? and she took it all. So I'm gonna go to build mode and I'm just gonna wreck it. I'm gonna just go bulldoze the whole thing. Okay, okay. So they have 243,000 simoleons. So in theory, in theory, she should be able to move, but we just bulldozed the family home. I feel kind of bad. Chelsea's right there. Casey's right there, saw her bulldoze the house. All right, let's move this household and see if we have enough to afford the new house. She can afford it and she still has like 40,000 simoleons, which is doable. We can survive on 40,000. She's gonna buy it furnished. The Impeachishme household is moving. Could this be the perfect home? Welcome Impeachishme family to your new home. Oh my gosh, she really matches the vibe of this home. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. It's so fun and weird and kooky just like her. I'm gonna have her claim her bed in her bedroom, I believe. It's downstairs on the first floor, right? Okay, so she's got this one. Then we've got all the Todds, of course. Jacob, go to sleep at the bed. And then Delilah, oh my gosh, look, she's already doing some hanging out on the, the laptop. Kelly's loving the new home. This is the home. We obviously gotta unpack a little bit, but overall, I'm really happy with, this, with the place. There is a perfect place to put the birth certificates right here. Very smart. You thought of everything. Let's go in and put down 70 birth certificates. So we're just a little shy of, I think, 70, 74 babies, which is what we have. Look at all these birth certificates. It's so much. It's hilarious. And then, of course, in the back, We'll have a little spot for our lovely gravestones. So there we go. Okay, that's cute. They got some natural flowers growing. Oh, they're halfway through the wall. Maybe we'll move them up a little bit. We've pretty much done it. Okay, cool. All right, well then everybody is set with the new, oh my gosh, we've got a new resurrection. Chelsea's checking out the new home. Chelsea, she's going in. She's like, heck yeah. She's like, is this, a new home. Do you think she'll break something immediately? Or is she, oh, she's really mad. I bet she's like mad she got moved again. It must be really unnerving to be a ghost and be like, oh my gosh, I'm in a totally new house. <gasps> Wait, this is so cute. They already put out food for my Todd's over here. Wait, is this what you guys were talking about? The bakery thing? Oh my gosh, they can pull food out of that refrigerated display. Oh my gosh, this is game changing. Bless you for making this perfect build for me. My Todds are feeding themselves. I didn't even need to do it. And Chelsea's talking to sweet baby Jacob, who they're all sad because of course, a death has happened recently in the family, I believe. And so they're all sad, but they'll all be good very soon. And you know, our little sweet, sweet girl is sleeping in her bed in her new home and I'm very excited for all of them. This is so, so, so exciting. Thank you so much for all of the builds that you did. I hope that you love this new home for the Peach family as much as I do. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you so much for watching the 100 baby challenge. If you're interested, make sure to hit that subscribe button.